So as usual, we're gonna continue from where we stopped. And where did we stop? I think we are now gonna continue from part 97 that says, homework, do crude on supplier. So in the last class, we actually did crowd on client. So uh, we did crowd on clients because this is a two column form that we needed to create. But in case of supplier, it's also gonna be the same thing. So I expect you to do it by yourself. If for any reason you did not do it, let's quickly do it. It's basically we copy and paste and then modify again. You can see that we have a number of things, interesting things coming up. So please remember to subscribe to my channel. And also please leave me a comment in the comment box below this video if you have any challenge whatsoever. And if you have recommendations you want to make, because I normally make up this list I'm working on based on recommendations. So if you make recommendations on what you want me to do, I'm going to also add it to, to, to the list here and we, can, we are going to do it together. So let's go to work on, uh, let's see where we are. So I'm going to run this application now and I'm going to come here and then go to HTTP local host, uh, HTTP localhost, port 8080. I think it should be 8081, let's see. So 8081, I'm go to, I go to parameters, and last time we worked on, uh, on clients, and now we are going to be working on suppliers, because if I go to suppliers now, you see that we don't have nothing. So I'm going to do it off camera, I'm going to copy and paste, and then modify, and then show you how it is. And then I hope you're, gonna go, uh, you're also going to do it and get it correctly. So I've completed copying and pasting uh, and modifying, okay? So I created these four files here, add, delete, edit, and suppliers list. And I've also kind of uh, modified the controller. So basically I copied everything from client down to controller, and then also did the same thing for service, and then do find and replace and convert it and replace client with supplier. And that is exactly what you should do. So let me test it. Let's see if it works. So let me test it. Um, I actually did test it before now. So in case you see, I added some uh, one or two data, that is fine. But for you, it shouldn't be a problem. It should also work. So let me refresh this page. And you see, it doesn't work. Um, so here it says, um, our uh, supplier is not accessible. So again, let's just restart this application and then I hope this problem will be solved. So let me just close and reopen it. Actually, most times you can solve a problem by closing the application and reopening it back uh, and then the problem simply goes away. So I'm going to rerun this application one more time. And it seems it started successfully. So I'm going to go to refresh this page. And now it comes out clearly. You can see suppliers. Uh, if I click on details, details works fine. And um, edit works fine. And maybe you can just try to add new suppliers. So I think it works exactly the same way. Uh, let me just take out this and then take out this and put in some numbers here. Actually, validation is a different module we're gonna work on separately, um, but now I'm not validating anything. So I'm going to save and it does not save. So let's check where the problem is coming from. Uh, it says mismatch, so let's go check. So in this case, it requires that we select a country here uh, and now it doesn't select. So you can see we have challenge here. So let me kind of refresh this page like United States, it doesn't select. So let's go back to the page. I'm going to go to supplier ads and scroll down to the JavaScript that actually loads the state. And if I go to, I think this is running in port 8081. So if I go to check here, it's, it's port 8081. So I'm going, to, I'm going to come back here and change this port here to port 8081. And I'm going to run this application now. And this time you should be able to load the country. So it requires that we select a country and a state. Uh, I think that is what is required. So if I go back now, I'm going to refresh and maybe go back home, suppliers, add supplier. 
and then fill up all these. Um, so select the country and the state and just add and save. So it added well. Uh, so it worked, but you can see address did not add. So I want to give that to you as assignment, as an assignment. Troubleshoot why the address did not add. Now we are moving into the interesting part. Now, as I used to mention, please subscribe so that you don't miss anything. The next part we are now going to be talking about because what I just finished now is the homework I gave you to do before now. We are going to be talking about unit tests. So I'm going to write up a few unit tests in the next class. Then from there, you can actually write as many unit tests as possible. Actually, how many unit tests you write in your application depends on you. But I'm going to show you how to use JUnit to set up or to write certain unit tests. For now, I'm going to stop here. I'd like to remind you to subscribe. Thanks for viewing. And also, if you have challenges, please let me know. Feel free to follow me in my social network profiles and kind on the Genius and GitHub and YouTube. Um, Facebook, you can always follow me. So let's see in the next part.